Right, so this is the first circuit we're going to make, just connecting a 9 volt battery to an LED through a resistor. And here's that circuit in physical form. So what we have here is we have a few components. We've got a battery, this is a 9 volt battery, battery connector, a resistor, a LED or light emitting diode and a piece of wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a breadboard and these breadboards are used to prototype or to make electronic circuits relatively quickly without having to use any solder or anything, um, anything permanent. They're connected across here, each of these rails is connected, each of these negative rails is connected and they're also connected in these columns like that. So from doing that you can make an electronic circuit relatively quickly. So let's try and do that, just to light an LED. So the important thing about LEDs is that they're polarised, which means that they have to be connected a certain way around. So this LED, you'll see it's got two terminals coming out of it. A longer one, that's the positive one, and the shorter one is the negative terminal. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that the positive rail is connected to the positive terminal of the LED, and the negative terminal of the LED is connected to the negative rail which then connects to the battery. So let's put in our LED. Let's do it like that. It's quite fiddly sometimes to connect, put these in. But what we've done there is just to put the LED in into the breadboard. So that means anything we connect on this row will be connected to the positive terminal of the LED and anything connected on this row will be connected to the negative terminal. Now the important thing about LEDs is they can only take a certain amount of current. If they go over that current, they will blow and become completely useless. So we don't want that, so we have to do limit the current flowing to the LED by using one of these, that's a resistor. We've calculated it to be roughly 470 ohms. As I say, look at the website to see how to calculate the resistor. OK, we're going to look a little bit more about how we calculate the resistor value that we use in this LED circuit. So there are basically two equations that uh, govern the relationship between voltage, current, resistance and power. So they're firstly Ohm's law, uh, which is V equals IR, and the power equation, which is P equals I squared R. And between those, you can get the relations between resistance, current, voltage, and power. So the symbols we're using there is V uh, is voltage. So V is voltage. And that's measured in volts. Or V is the symbol for that. I is the current. And that's measured in amps or amperes and that's uh, current is measured in amps, and the symbol is A. Uh, R is resistance, and that's measured in ohms, and the symbol is the Greek omega, and power is measured uh, in watts. So just like you have a 60 watt light bulb. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to work out resistance and just rearranging that Ohm's law equation, R is V divided by I. Okay, so we need to find out what V is and what I is. Now, the slight complication is we are trying to find the voltage um, that uh, it crosses the circuit. So we actually use a slightly modified form of, of the equation, which is V R equals V S minus Vf over I, where Vs is the power supply voltage, and Vf is the LED drop voltage, and I is the LED current. Now we need to find out what they are. Now we know Vs because that's what our battery is and that's 9 volts. The other uh, um, 
values we need to find out, VF and I, we need to find out from looking a little bit more at the LED we're using. Now, most LEDs are um, uh, fairly standard in these um, values, but if we want to be more specific, if we know the exact model we're looking at, we can look at the what's called the data sheet of uh, an LED. So we can look at, for example, a five millimeter LED um, data sheet. Okay, and we get a whole list of um, uh, data sheets. So let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at that one. So this is a data sheet. It tells you what the part number is, what it is, light emitting dose, uh, what type it is. So red diffused LED and it's five millimeters across. And you've got a lot of information here. You've got exactly the measurements of the LED, but you've also got a lot of information. So if we look at the uh, values we're looking at, we're looking at VF. OK, and so the forward voltage is here. VF typical values are 1.65 volts. So VF 1.65 volts. And the other thing we need to know is the LED current. And looking at the typical values here, IF is 20 milliamps. Milliamps, OK, which is 0 0.02. Two amps. So to look at um, to calculate the resistance, we need to just put those uh, these values we've got here into this equation. So R is Vs, uh, which is nine volts, minus uh, Vf, which is one point six volts, six five volts, divided by zero point zero two, which is the current. So let's just calculate that. So 9 minus 1.65 divided by 0 0.02 is 367.5 ohms. Okay, so there we go. That's the resistor value. And that's what we need to find. Now, resistors don't come in exactly those num those uh, values, so we need to find one that's fairly close. And uh, at the moment, we've got one uh, 470 ohm resistor lying around, and that's what we'll use in the project. Used. So let's uh, connect that from positive to the positive terminal of the LED. So let's get that in. It connected. Make sure it's all in. And to complete the circuit, we need this piece of wire just to go from the negative terminal back to the negative rail. So let's uh, put that in. Okay. And say so some of these take a little bit of time to just make sure that we're connected. A bit fiddly, but hopefully that will go in. There we go. So what we have here is almost a complete circuit. We need to power it. We need to do that by connecting it to a battery. So we put in a positive terminal and a negative terminal to our breadboard. Do that. So hopefully when we power it up with a the nine volt battery here, it will then complete the circuit and we will get the LED to light. There you go, that's our first circuit, an LED powered from a 9 volt battery.